Hi, this is Linda and Aaron with Traveling Flamingo. Welcome back, you terrific travelers. It's great to see you again. We love Caribbean cruises and exploring ports of call. Today, we're back at the port of Roatan Town Center to give you an updated tour. What do you need to bring? What is there to do? We're going to tell you everything you need to know to prepare for your day in Roatan, Honduras. All that and more coming right up. There are two ports in Roatan, Coxon Hole, which we will be focusing on, and Mahogany Bay. Both Roatan cruise ports have your basic amenities like washrooms, ATMs, duty-free shopping, and restaurants. Roatan is Honduras' main cruise ship destination. With scuba diving and ecotourism, there's a lot to do, and the economy heavily relies on tourism. We're going to go over arrivals and departures, port atmosphere, food and dining, what's near the port, and what you need to bring for your day at Town Center at Port of Roatan. Wondering if you should get off the ship to explore or book an excursion? We'll tell you all the information you need to decide. So let's start with the arrivals and departures at the Port of Roatan. There is a nice large dock that can accommodate some massive cruise ships. We were on the Allure of the Seas and another Royal Caribbean ship was there at the same time. It's nice that you don't have to tender so you can get off the ship and right into the fun. Last time we took a tender, we had to wait 40 minutes to get on. Then it took 15 minutes to load everyone. And it was then a 15 minute tender ride. So as much as the tender is fun, sometimes you just want to get to the port. The cruise lines that dock at the town center port of Roatan are NCL, Celebrity Cruises, Royal Caribbean Cruise Line, and Virgin Voyages. The town center port of Roatan opened in 2008. It's a nice small port with lots of things right as soon as you get off the ship. It has all your typical shops like your Diamonds International. There's also some local market crafts and souvenirs and a pharmacy and ATM. I really like checking out the local stands and the local crafts. Because we were there with another large ship, when we first got off in the morning, it felt really busy with lots of people on the small street with the shops. It did get quieter in the afternoon, so if you're planning on just exploring the port and not going much farther, don't feel a need to rush off early in the morning. In the afternoon, it's a lot quieter. As you walk through the port towards the exit, you'll come to an area where you can purchase tours and excursions. There are a ton of booths with different vendors. Usually by the afternoon, most of them are gone because you need to be going first thing in the morning. So if there's something you want to do, don't wait, get off there and get that booked. If you do not purchase an excursion with the cruise line, there are a lot of options right there at the port. Just be sure you know your return time as no one wants to be that dock runner. If you're new to cruising, the benefit of booking your excursion with the cruise line is that they will wait for your excursion to come back to the ship if there are any issues. If you did book your excursion, there's a meeting area right at the port. When you get off the ship, follow the signs to the right and that's where you meet up. Something interesting about the port of Roatan is that there was a plan for a renovation and expansion, but it's been delayed. We can see some of the work on the next phase has started, but it's not completed. They want to include a sea life encounter, wildlife encounter, lazy river, and more attractions. This would definitely make it a port that you could spend a full day at rather than just a couple of hours. If you know any more about the updates, let us know in the comments below. We think when it's done, it's going to be similar to Costa Meyer or Grand Turk. If you want to know more about these cruise ports or any other ports on your cruise itinerary, when this video is done, be sure to check out our channel as we have tons of videos to help you plan your vacation. Let's get into food and dining because you know I love food and we got the most epic drink on our trip at the Port of Roatan. If you're looking to get some food and drink before you continue your adventures, there's a few places. A bunch of the little booths are set up like bars along the shopping area. This is nice as it can get hot when shopping. We went to the Drinking Monkey, which is where we had the most epic drink ever. When we were there in 2019, you could order your drink and have it in a pineapple, which isn't new, but you know I love that. Well, last time when we were there, they had completely upped their game and not only could you get drinks in a pineapple, but also in a watermelon. Are you kidding me? I'm not talking about one of those little watermelons. I mean a full big watermelon. Well, you know, we had to get one of each. It was so fun. We got all the silly photos and we enjoyed the fresh air in the atmosphere of the bar. So if you're looking for some food and drink at the port, you'll find some, but it's not a huge selection. We're mainly focusing on what is at the port, but we want to touch on what is near the port of Roatan as well. Coxon Hole is pretty centrally located, and Roatan isn't that big, which makes it easy to sightsee. If you're interested in exploring on your own, you can rent a car, and many people hire a driver for a private tour. 
There's also taxis, which have fixed rates for zones on the island, so confirm with your driver the cost before you set off. Some of the attractions that are near the port is Oak Ridge, which is a cute little town on stilts, the Rotan Butterfly Garden, the Carambola Botanical Garden and Nature Trail, which is an animal preserve with iguanas, monkeys, parrots, and other wildlife. If you're interested in seeing or swimming with the dolphins, there's the Rotan Dolphin Encounter, which is at Anthony's Key Resort in Rotan's Institute of Marine Science. And of course, another popular location is Coxon Hole, the capital city, with duty-free shops and restaurants. There's definitely no shortage of things to do. We want to make sure you have everything you need to make your day great, so this is some of the recommendations of what to bring. The local currency is Lampira, but most tourist destinations do accept US dollars and all the places at the port did. Most locals speak both Spanish and English. If you do have an excursion planned or want to go hiking or zip lining, then you'll want to have closed toed shoes. It would be disappointing to show up and be told you couldn't do it because you don't have the right shoes. This actually happened to some friends of ours that were doing the zip line at Perfect Day at Coco Cay and they had to go back to get their running shoes. It's also nice to tip the people who take you on the excursion, so bringing a little money to show your appreciation is good. Rotan is known for their beautiful reefs, so it's recommended that you have reef-safe sunscreen that won't harm the coral. On the note of sun protection, having a hat, sunscreen, and a rash guard are good ideas. In our backpack, we also like to have a power pack. I like having this wireless one, and I throw in a couple Ziploc bags to keep our phone and money dry. Overall, we really enjoyed walking around the port, seeing the shops, and having a fun drink. Currently, this is not a port you'll need to spend a full day at. It's more of a stop off on your way to or coming back from your adventures on the island. We will keep our eye on this for when the expansion is done. What's your favorite thing to do in Roatan? What do you think of the planned expansion at the Port of Roatan? Are there any other cruise port videos you'd like us to make? Let us know in the comments below. We love hearing your ideas and travel experiences. If you want some more of our content, we have another channel, Flamingos in Wonderland, where we talk about all things Disney and theme parks. Remember, memories are forever, so make them fabulous. Thanks again for watching. It means a lot to us, and happy travels.